Hello and welcome to another episode of Graham and Ian's Great Adventures. Did you enjoy our travels? Join us as we travel through Western Australia's wheat belt. Here's a quick look at what's coming up in this episode. Commencing at beautiful Lucky Bay, we both ride Wave Rock. We spend a night at a chicken ranch. We visit some must-see places including the Cullen War Memorial and explore the monastery town of New Norcia. Lucky Bay in Cape Legrand National Park would be one of the most stunning and amazing beaches you can visit anywhere in Australia. The sand is a fine white quartz and the water is turquoise blue. You can walk or even drive along this beautiful beach. The National Park has a really good camping area on the hill which overlooks Lucky Bay. You can either camp there with a tent or bring your caravan. We have previously stayed there with a uh, caravan we had years ago, but not this time as we are travelling with Shadow and being a National Park it's not uh, puppy friendly. It is an easy trip out from Esperance for, for a day trip, it's only uh, just under an hour. Great uh, spot to bring a picnic lunch out to. Hellfire Bay, another beautiful bay in the National Park, thought to be named from the discharge that happens over a ship's mast called St Elmo's Fire. Whistle Rock at Thistle Cove whistles in the wind. Esperance also boasts some of the best beaches in Australia. Shadow, being an old dog, doesn't always warn to young puppies want to uh, play. No trip to the wheat belt is complete without surfing wave rock. Captivating surfers from all over the world, we mastered the 15 metre high, 110 metre long break without a problem. Rocks formed from multicoloured granite. Coming to the top of wave rock, we found other different rock formations. And also ponds and various coloured wildflowers. That's a very commanding view of the whole area. Also close to Wave Rock, a little known, is the Hippo's Yawn. We climbed inside the uh, Hippo's Yawn for a quick photo shoot. Leaving uh, Esperance, heading up to Wave Rock, we were looking for a free camp overnight and uh, we came across this, the Chicken Ranch. So my expectations was a large uh, open area on a chicken farm, far from it. But this is one of these little hidden gems that you find. There's probably only enough space for uh, three caravans connected and two motorhomes, but the facilities are outstanding, put on by the local town. It's got a great covered area with a barbecue, tables and chairs. They've even supplied two 15 amp power points that you can use for overnight. Terrific fire pit, which we made good use of last night with some seating around it. A dump point and a very clean amenities block, actually cleaned every day. And over here is a camp kitchen as well. Very basic camp kitchen, but it's got everything here you need. Even an RV washing machine at your disposal. There's even a cemetery here. Uh, rabbit cemetery that is. It's another place for Shadow to check out. All I ask is uh, a donation which we'll uh, gladly give. So if you're heading to Wave Rock, this is a good overnighter. The Tin Horse Highway, 
an entertaining drive on your way to Wave Rock. Equine art promoting the annual Cullen Bush Races is placed along the roadside at different farms. Well, the co-pilot requested another stop and must see destination. The Corrigan Dog Cemetery. Established in 1974, dog lovers will be touched by the over 200 gravestones from pet owners. We told Shadow to stay in the car. It'll be too upsetting for him to walk around here. Many men from the local Condon district fought in World War I. This silhouette honours those soldiers from the Light Horse Brigade, as well as the other service personnel. The Light Horse Soldier was officially unveiled at sunrise on the 25th of April 2015. Approximately 120 kilometres northeast of Perth is the historical town of New Norcia. Dating back to 1847 with two Benedictine monks from Spain. The original Be Benedictine monk Salvador respected and helped the indigenous people integrate with his community. In the 1950s over 230 boys and girls attended the school from indigenous to overseas children from wealthy families. Today there's five monks that operate the monastery. They offer a program of study weekends and retreats at the institute and also offer tourists a tour, museum and art gallery. We sometimes leave Shadow in the van when we're off exploring. Always interesting to see what he gets up to as we open the door when we return. Hope you've enjoyed our drive through the wheat belt. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon. And that's all folks.